Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So today we're going to be looking at this question, which was suggested to me on a recent live stream, which is we're going to have a given string right here in sigma star, and we're going to create a language of all the strings z, where z is a substring of w. So for example, if w is 0, 0, 1, 1, then L sub W is going to have the empty string in it because I can just pick nothing of this string. It's a substring. I could pick just a single zero or a single one because a single zero or a single one are substrings. I could pick zero, zero. I could pick one, one. I could pick zero, one. And all of those are substrings of this string. Uh, what else can I pick? I could pick zero, zero, one. I can pick zero, one, one and I can pick the entire string itself. And I think that's, let's see, again, I'm doing this live. So I think you, I think that's all the possibilities because this is the, all the ones of length zero, the ones length one, length two, length three, length four. Okay, so then now what we need to do is make an NFA for this language. So note that since the string is finite, this language is finite, so you can always make an NFA for it. And what you could do is just make a um, NFA for each of these individual strings and then union all of them together and you could achieve it that way. So that's one way you can go. But there was something that we thought of during the live stream that I think was actually really interesting. So let's first make an NFA for just the language of W. We'll notice that W itself is in the set of substrings because the substring could just be the entire whole string. So how can we achieve this? Well, if the characters of W are W1, W2, up to Wn, well, what we could do is just make a simple NFA like this, where each of the transitions is going to be W1, W2, etc. So W3, then etc. up to Wn, or after that point, we're going to be in a final state. Nothing else is final, and there are no other transitions, so the only string you could ever accept is the one that is w1, w2, w3, up to wn, which is the original string itself. But notice that here for L sub w, what we need to do is to not just accept the entire string, but any substring. So, we could try to modify this by just saying, well, okay, well, I, could, I can just make all of these states final. So let's try to do that and see what happens. So I'm going to make all of these final. Again, I'm going to turn off notifications. I should do that each time. And then WN right here at the end. And so this, every single state in here is final. And so you, some people may think, okay, well, the NFA has every single state final, so therefore it accepts sigma star, which is something you don't want to occur here. It's not sigma star because there are missing transitions here. If I included every transition and every state was final, then yes, it would be, um, it would accept sigma star, but it doesn't here necessarily. Well, notice here that, say for the string substring 0, 1, that's not necessarily at the front of the string. So what this actually does, this, um, this little NFA here is actually the prefixes of W, if we just leave it like this, because if we, uh, we could just accept the empty string or just a single uh, character W1 or W1, W2 or W1 up to W3, etc. So it gets all the prefixes of W, the beginnings of the string. What we want to do is to be able to say, okay, well, I could start the substring here, or I can jump to some random point in the middle and start the substring there. And then maybe, let's just say I wanted to just get W2 and nothing else. Well, what I would want to do is to skip W1 and do W2 and then just stop there. Well, that's what we can definitely do. So here is an NFA for it. So what we're going to do is exactly the same thing as before, but with one modification. So again, we're, every single state in this NFA is going to be final, although it doesn't accept sigma star, of course. And what we're going to do, and I'm going to put it in red, is we're going to put epsilon transitions 
from the start state, only from the start state, that go to each of the other states. So there's going to be an epsilon transition from the start state to every of the other states. Why would you want to do such a thing? Well, again, the substring can start anywhere in the string. It could start at the beginning or near the end. So what we would want to do is to jump to that place if at all possible. So let's actually carry out in practice for this example. So let's look at this one. Well, what we would normally do is just to have a zero and then a zero and then a one and then a one and now we got to put those epsilon transitions in so epsilon epsilon I'm gonna have them go over here to make some room and well, we could leave this one this last one out because we could accept the empty string to start with so we don't need to come all the way over here necessarily to do that but there's no there's no harm in doing it so do we get all these substrings well we certainly get the empty string I can just take the single zero or jump over to here to get the single one or this other way to get the single one too. I can do zero zero straight through. I can do one one by jumping over to here and doing one one. I can do zero one by going over to here zero one. I can do zero zero one just by going straight through. Zero one one uh, I can do by jumping here and then doing 0, 1, 1 because it's a substring. And then I can get the entire thing for 0, 0, 1, 1 just by going straight through. So we can actually get all the substrings of a particular string with a very simple NFA with the minimum number of possible states. Why is this the minimum number of possible states? Well, think about trying to recognize the string W by itself. You can't do this in general faster than this and not accept any other string for that matter. So here, this is the minimum number of states for the prefix uh, language. So uh, not the prefix, the, the set of all substrings here. So I hope that was interesting. Leave a comment below if you were able to find that a different way. And as always, leave a like on the video or subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. There are a bunch of links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, I'll see you next time.